Hello, uh, I will show you how to make groups uh, and using uh, the Drupal version Drupal 7.2 and uh, organic group uh, version 7.1 and uh, the modules I uh, using are uh, uh, Chaos Tool, Entity, Futures, uh, Mash Quarried this is optional to switch user without logging logout. It's very easy to use, and I show you how. And uh, organic groups, panels, and views. So now, uh, what I'm going to do is I go inside uh, my project, uh, organic groups demo one. Uh, I'm going inside the folder. It's a new installation the project folder, sites, all, modules and uh, I have downloaded and uncompressed the modules I just take the folder and copy them right there then I go to our project modules I find uh, the chaos tools enabled Enable futures and all the others. You know all the others. I can enable. I enable them. And I can enable all of them. So now we have all of them. The, the only thing is that we select only cache tool from uh, the cache tool suite okay so say configuration continue now take a while that you can sing a song war mm. love, 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 love. Unforgettable. That's what you are. Unforgettable. Okay, now they say the, the, the content access permissions need to be rebuilt. And you press just rebuild permissions. And here, rebuild permissions again. Rebuild permissions? completely that because we get some uh, new permissions for organic groups now it's made and I go to first people then permissions and what we are going to be sure about this the new installer we have all the permissions you know for the admin All the permissions have to be activated. Um, then we have the this group and post. I want to activate it uh, for authenticated user too. So I have a trick. I make it a little bit uh, so I come closer and I see the group create new content for authenticated user. Edit out content, edit any content now, delete out content and impose in post post are the messages you send inside the groups. Uh, so you, you use post to send message send, uh, to the groups. Uh, so I say post create new content, edit out content and delete out content. Okay. Uh, the other uh, new permissions um, that comes also uh, is uh, organic groups uh, administer organic group permissions and this is the admin you can do that okay so we say permission and now we go to uh, the group permissions that are in configuration 
and organic groups global permissions. Here instead we check all for the administration member. This is the administrator member of the group. This is the member of the group and non-member of the group. Okay, it's not just like uh, the other permission. Uh, uh, so this is inside only for groups, non-member groups, member groups, and administrator member. So uh, now the member, what can do the member? The the member can uh, edit our post content and delete our post content. Okay. We can make it too like just like before, so we can closer, come closer. Um, and now we have uh, view body field. Uh, and view the group field. This is the member of the group. Uh, view only view. And then I'm subscribe for the group. Approve of the nice subscription. We make it to the to the other member. And at user we can say that they they can uh, if they are member of the group. Maybe they want to add users to to the group. So we say that's so okay. Okay. Now the important thing here is. The more important uh, here is uh, that you select for non-member this uh, view group field group group because if you don't select it you will have many problems uh, finding out where this permission is to subscribe to groups it's the most important I have been spending hours days only in that permission okay view group field and a uh, subscribe to group have to be enabled to okay so now we set global permissions and now we go to a structure content types group and we say edit and what I'm going to do is to take the comments settings out because I don't want comment uh, in the group they said I want them to send posts but not comment so we said content type when we make this so now when we create a new group there is no uh, comments so we go now to uh, content add content and we add a new group and we call it Jarin group 1 ok and select also uh, provide a menu so we have it like a menu so now we have a group uh, what if I want to post something what I'm going to do now is to uh, uh, send a post to this group and I say add content and I say post and here the title is Jai post one I have to select my group Jai group one in groups audience and I say save, save. Now I have sent this post. If I come in my group, I can see anything, I can see any post, I can see nothing at all. Okay? So we go to structure and pages. We enable this system, not the view, not the template. We enable it. Now I come inside my group again 
I can see the post they are in post one and I can see I can see a new link so I can send post here from so I can add a new post you know and uh, now you can see my group is uh, selected here by default so what we are going uh, to do now is to uh, add another user we add another user we go to people add user I find a name, Daniel, email address, and find um, the email address don't have to be authentic. Uh, password, create new account. And uh, now I have the uh, Daniel. I use this. Yeah, have the user that. Call it onion, authenticate it. Uh, okay, now I'm, um, I'm going to show you uh, how to switch with Masquerade uh, between users without logging in, logging out. So we go to configuration, Masquerade, and roles that are considered administrators. For Masquerade, administrator, I check it, and here quick switch user I just press D and the name uh, Daniel come and I select it Daniel save configuration and now I go home and you can see I can masquerade as Daniel and if I do it masquerade as Daniel I can see there is uh, no uh, administrator menu more. I will add content as Daniel now. I'm Daniel and I will add a group. And the group I will call it Daniel1. I'm gonna save it. Got. Now I have Daniel1 and Sharing one group here, Do you know. Uh, if I'm going inside the uh, joining group one, uh, you can see I can request membership. So I just request group membership, and I can send a message. I want to enter this group. Please. And I press join, and now, uh, now uh, I'm going to uh, switch back to the administrator. Now I'm jarring again. Now I'm going uh, in my group, jarring group one. My group. And I'm going to check people there. Manage group member. I can see I have Daniel with a pending request and what I can do is I check Daniel and update options approve membership of the selected users and I press update so now Daniel is a chief member and when I close here I can see that Daniel becomes here also you know a chief so now um, but one thing I don't like is this uh, list so I'm gonna change the, the view of this group audience uh, field in post so I go to structure content types post manage fields and a group audience field I press edit and here, here down, number of values unlimited, I press only one and I save settings. So now this list will be only one uh, group selected. I go inside Daniel group, I press post and I say the, I can see the group audience now, it's Daniel one. If I want to select another groups, so I can select just like this much better 
I say cos from Gary to Daniel one. Say. And now you can see here the post from Daniel to Jari. Okay. So that's all. Uh, if you want to make a edit the, the view of this uh, pane, you can do it. Uh, so you have to edit the panel, and uh, in panel there is a lot of options uh, here in layout. So you have two columns, three columns. So I recommend you to look at panels, uh, how to work with panels if you want to uh, play with this. Uh, hello, in this uh, video I will show you how to create groups, post between groups, and how to work with the mask query module and switch between users without logging in and logging out. I hope you enjoy.